Well, the president has already made pronouncements yesterday on the issue of the Puel subsidy. The truth of the matter is that we either get rid of the Puel subsidy or the Puel subsidy gets rid of the Nigerian nation. In 2022, we spent $10 billion subsidizing the ostentatious lifestyle of the upper class of the society because you and I benefit 90% from the oil subsidy. The poor 40% of Nigerians benefit very little from the fuel subsidy. And we know the consequences of unveiling a masquerade. We'll get peers opposition from those benefiting from the oil scam, oil subsidy scam. But where there is the will, there is the way. Be rest assured that our president is a man of strong will and conviction. And in the fullness of time, you'll come and, uh, to appreciate his noble intentions for the nation. The issue of oil subsidy is going to be promptly addressed. The earlier we do so, the better. The issue of multiple exchange rates, we need to collapse it into one. So these are two big elephants in the room. And as the days and weeks come by, we'll be unveiling our agenda. He's going to unveil his agenda. Because, as I have always said, there can never be two captains on the same ship. He is the president and commander-in-chief of the armed forces, and a vice president. Your relevance is directly proportional to your level of loyalty to your principal. But this is a gentleman that I have known for well over a decade, that I have interacted closely with. Be rest assured that we are going to work harmoniously as a team, as a family, for the greater good of our nation.